What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to design an album cover in 1 minute, 10 minutes and in 1 hour. Alright, so I did a video before a couple of months ago where I designed a poster instead of an album cover and I thought it was a really fun challenge, it really sparked my creativity and you guys seem to like it as well. So I thought let's do another one with, with an album cover redesign. So the album cover I'm going to redesign is Butterfly 3000 by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. One of my favorite albums came out in 2021, I think. And I think there's a lot of creativity to do with a butterfly. So I thought, let's just see how far I can come in one minute. And let's see how far I can take it in one hour, of course. I have some cool ideas in mind. So just like last time, I just made sure that I have a couple of assets laying around already beforehand. Otherwise, I'm just going to be browsing Unsplash and the one minute timer goes off. I'm just going to get started. I'm going to set a timer on my phone and let's see how far I can go. All right, so I'm setting my timer right now, one minute. Okay, let's drop in an image of a butterfly. Let's hopefully make sure that the Photoshop AI selects the butterfly and removes it from the background, but it doesn't. Oh my God, this is stupid. Uh, okay, let's inverse the background color, type out butterfly. Butterfly 3000. Let's stretch that really far. on all right let's add a stroke remove the fill all right so let's see if we can fix this guy the quick selection maybe and my timer goes off again for some reason it doesn't like ring um but yeah that's just the one minute mark beautiful all right so let's see if we can do it with something better within 10 minutes and i'm putting on my timer right now all right it's so the first thing i'm doing is inverse the background let's drag in another picture of a butterfly that i found online and see if we can mask this out a little bit better All right, so now we have the, the, the I'm not sure what the English word is actually, but they're, they're feely, feely thingers, thing, these lines, lines of the, fe, the you know what I mean. Okay, uh, let's scale this boy up. Let's, now we have the time to actually pick a proper font, so. Maybe some grain. How far are we in? Two minutes. Sorry for the notification. Um, but that's the only way that my... Um, I can hear my phone thing because apparently like my alarm doesn't go off. Okay, we'll do some grain. Um, maybe some like sprinkles. Cool. Nope. Soft. We'll enlarge grain. So, kind of curious, we do have time, what happens if we stretch the grain? Quite happy with how this works. Uh, so, okay, maybe we'll, do we have time for gradient maps? We do, kinda. Okay, so maybe like a red one, red or yellow, do we have that? Actually, quite happy with this how this turns out. So, okay, what, we have a minute left. Maybe we'll do like another grain layer, but I'm just gonna go with the Dread Labs. Uh, let's see, styling kit. Which one is it? The one that oh, my, I think it's, it was my free pack. Do I have it on here? 
All right, actually quite happy with how this turns out and we have 20 seconds left. So maybe we'll do like a glow thing before the texture. So uh, maybe like stylize, blur, Gaussian blur, five pixels and then like an oil paint filter maybe. Here we go, okay. Um, let's just change it to like overlay or something. Okay, that's, that's it. Kind of kind of like how this turned out actually. Okay, so looking at this, now we do have the time to like see how we would improve on this. Uh, but I do have to do everything all over again. So I do have to cut out the butterfly again. And I do have to like, um, you know, I, I can continue with the things that I know now, but I do have to do everything all over again. So I can just duplicate something from this PSD to the next one. A couple things to note here, the, the pixelated background thing is kind of gone. And that's, I think, because... Yeah, I never put these to... <laughs> that's so dumb. I never put these to a uh, blend mode, I just now realize. But I want to add some depth here to this 3D text, I think. Maybe a little bit of grain or something. A little bit like the tutorial that I released a uh, couple of weeks ago. Uh, with the monotone uh, 3D effect, I do want to play around a little bit more with some depth. And I might want to do like the title of the artist at the top and then do Butterfly 3000 in the background or at the bottom. But we do have time to experiment with that, of course. So yeah, what I'm going to do is actually just generate a cool background at first and then we're going to do like all the things we did before. Let me just set my timer for one hour. There we go. All right, so let me just turn the background to black immediately. And we're going to go and generate some random clouds. Uh, and I, what I kind of want to do is, let's mask this out real quick. And then uh, go to Edit, Transform, Warp. And then just go with an arc, but then make the arc like, go all the way like this. And, oh, and then we just scale it down. So what, now we have this like weird abstract disk thing. Let's flip this so that it's mirrored and merge them down. So. All right, so let's duplicate this one and scale it down so that it's like it goes all the way down. And then also duplicate the top one so that it goes up. All right, so anyway, we now have like a kind of cool effect. I've never done anything like this actually. Merge these, scale them down. So in the middle we have that like little dark spot. So what I'm going to do is just make a gradient. Anyways, now we have a like, pretty cool background, I guess. Let's just duplicate this thing and then reverse it. So, so we do have like a digital rotating thing. Smart object so that we don't have to worry too much about it. And now we can properly cut it out as well. So let's just go to select a mask. out this little thing disk error okay we gotta probably okay I'm gonna pause the timer for a second because I'm not gonna start over again um, okay let me just fix this real quick uh, all right as I put the timer back on I think we should be good now so what happened was I think with a disk error and that's because my cache from after effects was like really uh, big Let's see if it works I think it does. All right, so um, I'm just going to cut these things out manually. All right, so we now have the butterfly cut out a quite properly I guess let's see if we can fix that with the levels a little bit more shrink these in uh, and if you have if you don't know what I'm doing right now I would suggest you check out my mastering Photoshop masks video because that will explain it quite well I think so uh, let's do the, the thing that we did before Ooh, cool pretty colors um, but I'm gonna just make it black and white for now Then let's put the anchor here so that we scale it down from the center on out like that all right so then let's just type out king gizzard and lizard wizard again 
Let's focus mostly on composition for now. I want to have like this gradient map like with this color and then maybe like a purple one as well Let's see what happens if you put that into a gradient map uh, because i did like that one uh where it was this one okay so there's like a magenta here and this one is supposed to be way darker So now we can just use a different color, clip that to here, and now we can just change the, the thing if we, we need to. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna type out Butterfly 3000 because we haven't done that yet. So the background is a bit chaotic again, so I'm not sure if we're going to keep that. So I'm just going to go like this so that we know have a little bit of a better overview of what we're doing. So we'll go to Babylon Emboss and we'll just make this smaller. Maybe we'll do like a gradient overlay, so the one. Same thing for the 3000. So if you want to learn more about how this technique works, um, what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, actually, I released a video on it. I think it came out. It should come out like a should have come out like a week ago. Otherwise, it's gonna be maybe like uh, two weeks ago. Not sure. I'll just put a link in the description. So the grain isn't that sharp uh, and the way the reason i want to do that is because i want to experiment a little bit with some gradient maps uh, what i want to do however uh, i want to do a gradient overlay Now, what we're gonna do is turn this thing into a... We're not gonna turn it into a smart object yet because we need grain. And we do have a grain layer already, but it's in there somewhere. So, well, I'm just gonna make another one. Let's just check out this grain for what it is right now. It's really, really harsh, if it, but if it's... Yeah, it's a little bit too harsh, I think. So what I'm gonna do is go to the gallery and add a clumped grain. Better, but... Ooh, linear light actually works a little bit better, I think. And now we can experiment with our gradient maps again.
and then with this this is way too hectic so what i'm gonna do is remove this and i'm just gonna adjust this and make it a little bit darker so something that i wanted to do is uh, let me just save this up i'm gonna make a new displacement map because i want to do like i want to experiment a little bit more with digitalizing the, the computer effects here So let's see what happens if we put this on our butterfly. Ooh, I kind of have an idea now, I think. So let's do 150, 150. And we'll start seeing if we can use this into some blend modes or something like that. Now I do want to have like some, like a gradient map or something over this to see what happens. All right, so how far in are we actually? Okay, we have 25 minutes left, so we have plenty of time. Here I want to have a couple of like rectangles. Let's see how large, maybe like 200. Yeah, we'll do 200 and then we'll just do like another margin of 100 pixels. So, or sorry, 50 pixels. And what I'm going to drop in here is uh, some illustrations from the Dread Labs scientific illustrations kit. Uh, let's see where it is. So I'm going to drop in four insects, not butterflies, but similar looking insects, I guess. You don't really see them that much, uh, off. you don't really see them that well, but let's just group them together and then I'll do like a color overlay. So now color overlay, and uh, we'll just put in these frames as well. Um, okay, so I want to make these, I want to have these, like, be white. Looking pretty, starting to look better and better. Okay, and I do think that I want to... Not sure about this color. I do like this color, so I'm going to add it to my swatches. But maybe for another different type of artwork. It's like a psychedelic album, so maybe maybe we'll do like some mushrooms. Nah, no, I I I think I don't do want to have a pattern or some of some sorts. So uh, let's see if we do have something like that. We do have the mandalas from the Spitfist pack, which is actually what I'm going to use, I think. So we have this like really. This works a little better. Um, all right, so now we do have the whole artwork. Uh, and this is starting to look pretty good, I think. I, I'm, at least I'm really happy with the result. Um, so one more thing is, I think I do want to have the track list somewhere here or here. 
maybe in the sides here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, do I still have time to do that? I think we do, right? Before we do the actual effects and stuff. So we'll just do like some text here. save this up so now first okay we do have five minutes left for texturing that should be fine uh, so the first thing I want to do is actually do some effects so uh, make a duplicate of the layer um, let's see what happens if we pixelate this Okay, so let's add, let's add some nice grain to the whole thing. Now, just to play around a little bit, let's see what happens with a high pass filter on it. Okay, cool now let's texture it up so let's go and we're gonna grab some uh, nice grain texture from uh, where is it from around Preston's pack how far in so two minutes left okay harsh grain and some paper textures so let's grab where is it Tretlos paper pack 3 like crafting paper. I guess. Okay, I do like this. So we have, and there's it. Damn. Holy shit. Okay, so the. That was actually like right on time. The last action that I did was actually right before the timer went off. So yeah, really, really happy with this actually. One of probably one of the favorite album covers I designed in a long time. So let's let's go back one more time to see what we made so far. This was the very, very first one. Probably my least favorite artwork that I did in the last five years. But um, gotta admit, I had a, a minute to do this, but yeah, the head isn't even on there. This one gave me a little bit room to, to see what I would like to do for the one hour mark. I do like the color palette on this as well. This is a little bit more magenta based and the late last one is a little bit more orange based. And now looking at it, I think, yeah, I would probably remove these textures just a little bit more. So maybe I'll just lower the opacity a little bit and then we'll just delete the paint swirls. All right, so yeah, let's save all of these up. Uh, but yeah, really, really happy with the results. All right, so if you want to have the PSD file for this album cover or for the other two album covers, you want to have this as well, you can become a patron of mine. So by becoming a patron, you support my channel and you make me be able to give you guys a free video every week. So thanks for your help as a patron the tutorials keep coming so you shout out to my patrons by the way and as a thank you you'll get access to all of the project files from all of my tutorials a 15 percent discount in my asset web store uh, which is also where most of the textures in this video come from as well as an exclusive discord role in our discord community and if you go one tier up you also get access to exclusive tutorials such as on how to start a clothing brand from scratch how to make death metal logos how to make y2k ray flyers and more so if this is something that you're interested in there's a link down in the description and if you don't have the budget to support dreadlabs it's also completely fine of course leaving a like comment and subscribe already helps a lot so if you want me to do more challenges like this let me know in the comments because i really enjoy doing them and with all of that being said this is tom from dreadlabs tuning out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video